True alchemy lies in this formula. Your memory and your senses are but the nourishment of your creative impulse. I am Supernal, and this is Artist Spotlight. Today I'm going to be talking about a fantastic, surreal artist who hails from Greenland. Wonderful, awesome dude. Um, it's been around Demon Art for quite a long time, and some of these artworks that I'll be uh, focusing on um, and showing on here in a lot of his artworks um, come from early mid 2000s. So, you know, I don't know if that impacts any of your judgment on this, which you should have no judgment. This is a no ego zone. Get that shit out of here. Let's get into this. In this first piece here, titled Mary of Bethany, I think this gives a very concise and succinct explanation and view of this guy's artwork, his style, and the general motif and subject matter that he focuses on. Uh, several of his artworks have this very nice background of clouds, which cuts off. He gives you no real idea of what the space is, the setting, and whatnot, especially with what then appear to be almost like floating images, right? You know, the woman on the right side which a lot of his female characters tend to be at this same sort of viewpoint. He does a lot of these um, perspective from the side uh, angles. forget what the fucking type of name that is, but um, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. And then having this weird, just off-the-wall, holy shit, just biomorphic is the word that comes to mind, um, uh, imagery kind of combine together and he'll morph the two with the female characters with the bio imagery and some other recurring motifs he has like using jupiter and um mushrooms which could have some element of you know talking about psychedelic mushrooms possibly uh but also you know, going back to the initial uh focus with just the composition you know it's a little it messes with your mind this is why it's good to have an understanding of the technical aspect and you can kind of use it to manipulate because initially you know if if these characters were just floating it might seem kind of weird but you know it just kind of it varies on your position as i've mentioned previously in other videos you want to have some element in your artwork that leaves the you almost like in a book you want to have the reader left wanting more but thinking of like you know you want to have them think more of like okay why is the character doing this where is this plot going ah you, you don't want to confuse them not necessarily but you want to leave this level of uncertainty you want to leave some gap for a chaotic sort of what you know whatever to go in there and with this if this is very stated simply here with having the objects going off the screen you don't know if they're standing on some platform or whatever so it leaves a little element there and just having a little touch of it just a little bit you know there's not a lot here not like there would be on eduardo de or anything like that just a little just a little, little piece you know having a little cinnamon on that apple pie uh, but the particular focus here in this one that is replicated in many other artworks is this crazy biomorphic aspect and the imagery that this guy really paints in this particular part just the way that he did it with this um it's like kind of like snow globe kind of action going on here right i love that very great display of technical uh skill and technique superb there uh but the actual, you got some picture-in-picture -picture elements, the reflection, you know, yeah, it's showing this water in there, you got that line at the top, so part of it's popping out, and you know, the light on all that. So it's like there's this other world that then this girl's kind of looking into, but her, her facial expression, she almost seems a little somber, not no downcast eyes or anything like that. She's looking at it straight on, but there's almost no real emotion there. Um, so she's not being freaked out by it, but she's very intently in, you know, her face is not, it's maybe like a foot away, so she's kind of close up to it. So maybe I can infer at least that these sort of childish, younger-looking feminine characters could be that sort of 
symbolic element of uh, of just kind of desiring just wonder yeah the element of wonder I'm just kind of like what the fuck is going on and not squelching that because that's what a lot of artists have to have you have to wonder you have to keep your mind open and just investigate look at all these forms and this whole the whole scene here of this guy who's just like uh, his soul's leaving with this crazy thing this hail in the background and all that and just coming out of this sort of earthen element inside this jar it's just like dude what the fuck is going on and you see this more so with his other pieces of artwork which I will jump ahead right into a few more uh, this particular one is my harp is turned to mourning I do like uh, the titles are a little, little important in artwork not super important at first you know I like this you're not initially aware of what some of the images are which is a good style to have particularly and a good manipulation of form so i didn't really notice at first that these large pieces are basically watermelons right i mean if you look at it got the green green rind and the, the thick part yeah it's great i actually kind of want watermelon now looking at that you know the seeds and everything but it's just the whole you know some of his pieces the general kind of atmosphere does tend to be a little depressing does tend to be kind of moody for sure you know, i feel like i want to listen to some velvet acid christ on the background here you know some good like skinny puppy or something some like ni ni nice 90s industrial ambient um ebm kind of flows through this i feel uh, I, I bet he'd probably like that music uh but this you know there's a whole lot that's real crazy about this it's, it's a lot more toned down uh, but it's just a particularly unique composition. Um, I love the expression of, you know, this guy, again, has really good technical acumen when it comes to his, uh, his skill. You know, good at display of depth. Um, you know, the characters he has, I like the attention to detail. Everything is great. Uh, the lighting is, is, is nice, too. Um, you know, the lighting isn't super crazy that he focuses on too much in this. You know, no, no real crazy amount of contrast or anything like that. That's not his style. You know, intense contrast is especially more predicated for, like, comic art and everything, right? Um, so you have that first piece, and you go to the second one I showed you. So you get a good okay, so he's got some mixture of this. Then you have this third one, right? Uh, the Cloud Capped Towers. So again, you have like a skyish background, which this has f barely any inkling of any clouds in it. Great cutout of these geometric lines, really dividing up the piece, and then having these stuff on top. So it gives it that depth, gives it the three dimensionality, simple reflections, and having objects of different distances. Okay, so very easy the blue cylinder is behind the biomorphic object the red one green one and brown are in front and then the little tree thing is even farther in front um so got it you know just that small amount of depth really adds a lot i'm going to make that extremely important just a small amount of depth will really really add a lot and you can even see if you really focus on the subject matter here clearly it's right in front of your face Use of color is great. You know, all those different objects, those different, you know, again, picture within picture. It's a fair motif that he has, but this one, it just, I mean, there's no real particular form that comes to mind of what this biomorphic image is. I mean, and just the way that the lines are breaking up, and you have this sort of, you know, it almost seems bony, but uh, it's hard to place exactly kind of what it is, but it, it's definitely got this horror element to it, right? I mean, that looks like sinew from muscle just kind of being pulled and just, you know, pieces of bone. So, you know, I imagine to some degree 
that he probably maybe has used. I feel like I, I could probably conjure and create something similar by taking different elements of the body and disassociating it and using collage, right? Using Use those surreal techniques, surrealist techniques, to create the artwork, to create this intensity. Um, but as you can see on the far left top, you see a bit of a face there, right? So the, you, you add, and even if you hide it a little bit, adding that human element of familiarity will make the uh, the viewer actually relate to it much easier. It will make them stand there and look at it much longer, you know. But to just cover over some more of his artwork here, we're just going to go through some of these pretty quickly. Just see a look at it. Um, and the one, this last one actually, really, uh, that I'll focus on a little bit more of um, I can't pronounce the fucking title, but here you see some more motifs again. Got these feminine individuals from that side shot. Great light, a little more lighting in this one. And then you have, a, as I mentioned previously, you've got these mushrooms with the obvious Jupiter. Jupiter's eye, and some other good symbolism there. You know, there's not a lot of heavy, heavy symbolism. It's not really in your face. It's not just, you know, trying to imply anything. Not a lot of occultism. Not a lot of sinister stuff. And again, the expression on the women's faces are you know, kind of sad, but not... They're kind of emotion. They lack emotion. But it's not necessarily the sort of negative pessimist action. It's more of just they're there and they're existing kind of thing, right? So, and that, honestly... That's pretty much it. Uh, this guy's done a lot of artwork. Like I said, some of these pieces are from like the early, mid-2000s. And he's done a lot since then. So seriously, give this dude some of your attention. It's well worth it. And I love this dude's artwork. I, I definitely want to have um, maybe at least a couple pieces someday. You know? Gotta have a little bit of that yummy artwork. And that'll do it for this episode of Artist Spotlight. The light has been shined on the artist who deserves it very much. If there's other artists who you think deserve some uh, time in the spotlight, who think, hey, I, this guy definitely has some, got some good shit, some nice stuff there, hey, let me know about it. Post a comment, send it to one of my social medias, and all of that information, as well as links to... Cola Boy in his fantastic, surreal artwork will be annotations and descriptions as always, folks. And again, you have a great fucking day and appreciate the views as always.